Anything? You all want to set up again? Yes. Sir. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, no. This is the Murphy Camera is called PHEY. I don't know if they're spelling it the other way. Okay. Okay. Um, you'll have 15 minutes to present. If you don't use all your presentation time, we can add it to the question and answer something. We'll have some questions that we'll ask everybody that we'll ask you to. Alright, so go on, go ahead. Good evening. We're low engineers. We appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight. Mayor, council, staff, thank you for this opportunity. We've been looking forward to this for about 16 months. About 16 months ago, I looked at an email and it said that Brookhaven is going to get formed, the city boundaries are being drawn, and it looks like they might use a privatized operation. So <laughs> that got us all excited and we've been working, you know, trying to get to this point ever since then. And we thank you for the opportunity. My name is John Bristol. I'm the Director of our Municipal Services. I'm a partner with Low Engineers. I've been with Low 30 years. I'm a civil engineer and I've been working for 38 years. And we really thank you for this opportunity. Before we get started, though, I want to compliment y'all. We've seen several other cities get started. And y'all have done it in the shortest amount of time. <laughs> and you've done it. The thing I like about it, though, you've done it with enthusiasm and you appear to be tireless. You know, you just are going night after night after night. I'm sure you're drinking from a fire hose. You're getting a lot of information. So we're hoping we can be part of your team to help you. We've given you a little placemat that covers the uh, four things that we're going to be covering tonight. We're going to talk about our proven experience, our startup plans, our ongoing both short-term and long-term plans, and an innovative staffing approach. So I'm going to cover the proven performance. <clears throat> Back in December 1st of 2005, I was a part of the Sandy Springs Public Works startup team. And we were there, and the jury was out. And basically, can a private company run public works operations better than a government? faster, cheaper, and with less people. And we believe we've proven that. We were part of the team at Sandy Springs, part of the team at Johns Creek, part of the Milton team, Chattanooga Hills, but most importantly, we were part of the Dunwoody team. That was the only new city that formed out of DeKalb and took over DeKalb operations. So we believe we've got that DeKalb County experience. We've got the experience in public works, we're still doing it in Dunwoody. Plus, <laughs> we've got DeKalb experience. We've made a strategic decision to hire John Gerbel, He's recently retired from DeKalb County, 26 years of experience in public works there. He knows what was done right, what was not done right. He knows a lot about the history of the Brookhaven here. Right? So I'd like to turn it over to Richard. Thank you. Um, my name is Richard Meehan, and I um, will be your public works director for the city of Brookhaven. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm also a partner with Lowe Engineers. I've been with Lowe for 27 years now. I'm also a resident of this area. I grew up in North DeKalb. Um, I lived and worked here for over 33 years now. Um, I was the first public works director for the city of Dunwoody, so I've been through this startup with the city before, and I continue to help out with the sit on the city of Dunwoody team. I was also part of the team that assisted with the four other four other city startups of public works in Sandy Springs, Johns Creek, Milton, and Chattahoochee Hills. So I'm confident. I know I can do the job as far as helping the city set up a winning public works department. Um, three years I'm going to touch on of the kind of the phases or periods we have of how we're going to approach some of the setup of public works. First will be the startup period, then what we'll do inside kind of the short term accomplishments and look towards our long term goals. Uh, during the startup period, this is going to be the 30 days before we take over the infrastructure from DeKalb County. This is our initial 30 days on the job. Um, there's some critical things that we need to get done. First would be an initial assessment of what we've got. Um, going out and doing an inventory of critical items such as traffic signals. Not just an inventory, but also a condition assessment of those items to see what needs are. Um, setting up a work order system so that we can address any maintenance needs from day one. You know, we want to be able to hit the ground running and take care of anything that may need to be done, whether it's a traffic signal repair, a pothole repair, um, something that's crit anything that's to be critical to the operation of the roads and the infrastructure. Um, and also, we need to set up an emergency response procedure and a 24 hour response procedure. We need to be ready on day one to handle anything that may come up, be it a tree down, a winter storm, or the unexpected. You know, one story we have from Dunwoody two weeks after we became a city in Dunwoody, on a night that the temperature dropped to about 18 degrees, some kids opened some fire hydrants in front of the high school iced up Womack Road. We had our crews out at 4 a.m. 
that day to get the sand and salt out so that school could open on time. So they were boarded. The kids were boarded and trying to go to school. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. They thought they could pull one over and see if we were ready for it. We were ready. So, um, so that's Campbell's during the 30-day startup phase. Once we take over the operations of the infrastructure, we enter what we're calling the short-term phase, the first three to six months, looking at what are some of the critical items in that period. One of our key focus in that is going to be just maintenance, getting the backlog of work orders that um, going and start addressing them. We have maintenance contractors that we've used in the city of Dunwoody that are already on board with us that are ready from day one to be able to start handling that backlog of work orders, making sure all critical functions are kept going. But also, we want to, to be fiscally responsible. We want to get an RFP out for Berkhaven to have their own maintenance contractor. So within that first three months, we want to work with the finance department, get an RFP out, get our own uh, vendors under contract for that. Um, another area in the short-term phase is to start doing a more in-depth asset inventory to determine what we have in the city. One of these will be a pavement analysis. We have a, we use a laser video truck that everybody refers to as a laser truck that we have will go ride every street in the city and measure the quality of the pavement. Uh, we mm -hmm. do this to help us set up the initial short-term and long-term paving plans. What this will give us is a qualitative scientific analysis of the pavement. And we use this in setting up the paving plan so that we're developing a paving plan based on scientific need not based on politics. Try to take politics out of the equation. That helps you all explain to the citizens why is his street getting done before my street? It's because his need is worse. Um, part of this asset inventory also, one of the key focus areas is going to be street lights. Um, we take, the city will take over the street lights from the county when they take over the roads. That means you'll have to pay door to power for the right to light the streets. Well, there's a street light fee that's on the property tax bills. We need to make sure that the city work with the finance department to make sure the city can get that street light fee collected during this first year. Um, this is a lot of process work with DeKalb to get the information of which homes, not every home is assessed, so we need to make sure we know which homes are assessed, getting the bills right, making sure everyone that's supposed to be have to be is paying it or being assessed for it anyway. Um, the last area that also can impact the finances of the city is setting up the stormwater utility. DeKalb County collects a stormwater utility fee now. One of the things we'll have to do, work with the council, with the finance department, is set up that stormwater utility so that the city can collect that fee this year. That's $1.5 million or more that's available to the city that can be used for stormwater uh, to maintain and service the stormwater system. The Key, one of the keys with that is making sure that the bills are correct. In Dunwoody, we discovered that DeKalb County was not billing for about $200,000 worth of stormwater utility fee that they could have been collecting. Um, we worked closely with the finance department in Dunwoody to make sure that those bills, those first bills were correct and we were getting that money flowing in the first year. Once we get out of the short-term phase, going into the second half of the year is when we start looking at more of the long-term planning needs developing the capital plan for the city, starting to do the comprehensive transportation plan. We want this to be a dynamic document. A lot of times, cities will do a comprehensive tra tra transportation plan. They'll put it in a three-ring binder and we'll sit on a shelf somewhere. We don't want to have that. We want to have a dynamic process that continually looks at what the city's needs are, updates them based on the changing needs of the city to be fiscally responsible for the city and not just do projects because they were on a list somewhere. Um, we we'll coordinate with DeKalb County, with Georgia DOT, with PCID to look for funding sources that can bring money into the city uh, to do these projects so it's not using only the taxpayers for Cayman money collected, it's using outside funds available that are available to us. Also during this time, we'll start looking at long-term stormwater needs. We'll have to begin a stormwater inventory of all the drain structures within the city. This is a process that could take two to three years depending on the available funding, but it's something that's critical to assessing the needs, long-term needs of the system. In Berkhaven, you have a system that's in some places over 40 years old, which means it's at its end of its useful life. So we know there is going to be a lot of needs for stormwater repairs, and we have to have a, know what those repairs are going to be, develop a plan for that. So. 
that kind of covers the three areas, general areas, where we're going to look at as far as the setting up the public works department, the startup phase, the short term, and the long term. I look forward to partnering with the city and being your public works director. Thank you. John? We have an innovative staff model. <laughs> it's a little different. And basically, it's scalable and flexible, which is totally different from the traditional government. That way, if you've got one year you want to do more paving, we can bring on more pavement engineers. Next year, you might want to do more stormwater or sidewalk projects. We can scale up and scale down and have the expertise that you need when you need it, real easy. And we're also not a stovepipe operation. Our traffic people work with our transportation people, works with the field services. We don't make mistakes like paving a road and coming back two weeks later and digging it up to put a storm drain in. And we're coordinated and integrated. We've seen that kind of thing happen. Most of y'all probably have too. <coughs> we also have the Two teams, basically. A core team, that's a small group of people. You'll see them a lot. They'll be here in, Senate, here in the office, sitting in the office on a regular basis, going to meetings with you, doing reports with you, and then they're backed up by a large team we call the support team. And they'll be out in the city doing projects. They'll also be doing coordination with GDOT, coordination with ARC, trying to get money for you from, for you from other projects. So that's our, our main concept, is a core team and a support team. I have most of the support team here tonight. I want to introduce them quickly. John Gerbel, he's an engineer, 35 years of public works type experience, 26 in the cab, tremendous asset. Carl Carter, professional engineer, 30 years of stormwater experience. He's running the Dunwood Stormwater Utility now. He knows how to take over the stormwater utility and run it efficiently. Chris Owens, Chris Owens is in 19 years, he's a registered civil engineer. He's a specialty in site and civil work, but he also has got an added expertise in sustainable operations and sustainable design. Plus, he's a city council member in Alpharetta, and that gives us additional expertise, a little bit of different perspective. Michael Smith, he is the public works director in Dunwoody. Dunwoody's allowed us to have him as an advisor to our team, and that's really good to have an adjacent city to be able to cooperate between the public works departments. He's got 19 years of experience in his registry. Senator Clark is a transportation planner. He gets money for you. It's money from GDOT, from ARC. He's been responsible for getting about $10 million in the last few years for other cities and executing those all the way through the complicated GDOT and ARC process. Scott Avey is another professional engineer, especially in transportation and traffic design. He can take projects from concept all the way through construction, close out. He's a specialty in that area. David Brenner. He's a professional engineer. He's got six years' experience. He's a capital projects engineer. He can take projects from 50,000 to several million, take them from start to finish, execute them, and get them be your advocate in executing those projects. He's not part of our team. <laughs> 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 I'm available. <laughs> 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 she is an urban designer. Her specialty is pedestrian and streetscape, sidewalks. She's gotten about $15 million in the last few years for other cities and places and got it constructed, takes it from concept through design. So we know how to get other people's money, bring it to your city, and build stuff for you. Mm -hmm. And Jamie Drysdale, she is the day to day face of the operation. She's the administrator. She'll be there answering the phones. And, and Dunwoody, she talks to the mayor on a regular basis. She talks to other city council members and asks her questions. The public will call her. So she is kind of like the focal point of our communications efforts. She's been doing it in Dunwoody for the last, since Dunwoody started in 2008. So this is our team. <clears throat> We're proven. We've got a great startup plan. We've got a great ongoing plan. We have a key innovative staffing concept. And we want to be in your public works department. So I'll open it up for questions and answers. And also before, I'm an engineer, I'm wearing a suit pants with a sports coat and I don't have matching socks, I just know. <laughs> <laughs> my suit coat is in my truck. Makes me I'm more. an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you had it today, we probably wouldn't know. <laughs> I, had to, I had to bring it up. <laughs> All right, well, we got a minute and a half to add to, the, to their time. Um, question, we have some questions. I guess somebody's on the plan now. Yeah, as I said, they, had, they answered mine. Uh, mm -hmm. We're sort of there. Mm -hmm. What is the first task you've approached in standing up your department? When can you start? We've already started. And, uh, and the first task basically is assessing your conditions. We've already started driving the roads. We set up the steep click fix already and put the boundaries of Brookhaven on it, and we already have work orders generated in there. So assessing the existing conditions is the first part. So, so the laser trucks are part of the bid? We, we have a part of our bid, the laser truck is a subcontractor. We have to get them scheduled. So once we get started, we'll get on their schedule. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I, I've been recording every pothole I see because I thought the cab was still going to be filling it. And they just come on to the uh, secret. secret okay. Are you getting those orders now? or well, Any of them that are in your battery area, we, we get them. And we can see who filed them and what, who liked them and who also wants them. So all the secret fix. Okay. But the cab right now is still supposed to be doing that. I should yes. We can have overlapping areas. <laughs> <laughs> we can have overlapping areas. Jay does. Jay does our secret fix coordinator. We'll get that as many as we <laughs> um, anything else? Anybody have any more questions? Um, mm -hmm. It's a good presentation. I don't think we have yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Well, y'all had a long night. We appreciate the opportunity and hard work with you. Unless there's something you think we need to ask. Well, I think they okay. covered most of our questions. Okay. <laughs> All right. We appreciate it. Well, thank, well, thank you. Thank you. That's half the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that's that's